The Center for American Progress reports that as soon as 2036, Generation Z, Generation Z, millennials, and the following generation will make up a whopping 60% of the electorate. At first glance, this may read as a sign of good things to come for Democrats. However, Eliza Ryman of Business Insider reports that millennial and Gen Z voters are abandoning Democrats over two key issues, cancel culture and vaccine mandates, saying that young voters are increasingly skeptical of the government, public health officials, and cultural elites, skepticism which the GOP has embraced. According to one professor behind a national survey of young voters, quote, at the end of the day, it boils down to whether people feel represented by elected leadership, whether they feel included by society, unquote. Uh, now, the article goes on to specify that it is actually young white men who are, bother who are you know, most substantially bothered by uh, cancel culture. That's a, a significant but shrinking portion of of each, gener each generation. Robbie, what, what did you make of uh, this report? Yeah, I mean, it, it actually kind of focused on how the right can use these issues to recruit, you know, among a sort of gettable class of, of voters, of, of, of young people. Um, I, I think it was less about, like, like hardcore progressive or lefty or dem young people fleeing the party over those two issues. Maybe there's a little bit of that happening. But I do always say, you know, with the, with the way, um, you know, cancel culture is, like, broadly unpopular. E even when we say, like, what are, what are young people doing? What are kids doing? You know, the ones, like, terrorizing college campuses and canceling all their professors. Even, like, in the most elite bubble sort of pro cancel culture spaces that's still like a minority of of people a minority of young people like it's a small number of people doing the things we all kind of mock so you actually can't like characterize the entire generation as being in favor of those things like most even most people of the same generation think that stuff is nuts so it it, it doesn't surprise me that it, it can be used as like a a, a recruitment issue well, I was really surprised by this myself, just because I guess I must be like an old geezer or something, because, you know, when I think of with uh, of Gen Z in particular, I think, oh, of course, they're more liberal. You know, every generation uh, becomes more and more liberal. But actually, what, and then, but then I've talked to plenty of Gen Zs myself who I'm very surprised actually take on more of a libertarian stance. And, uh, you know, and I always thought, well, they would be the ones that are really for all of these democratic policies like the cl climate change and racial justice and in a lot of the, the cultural. Uh, but they are seemingly turning away from it a little bit, just from my own anecdotal experience. And apparently this is also kind of um, reiterating that as well. But really, when I think about it, I think young people have always just been not so much liberal. I mean, I know we kind of have that. Well, they're, they're liberal. And then as they get older, they become more conservative. But the, our definition of liberal and conservative, I think, is a bit different. And I think what young people really are always sort of for the underdog, if that makes sense. Uh, you know, championing the underdog, going for, you know, fighting for the underdog. And then there's this kind of conservative older group that says, no, this is the way it is and way, the way it needs to be. So I wonder if they are kind of, you know, going against cancel culture because they feel like that's the mainstream and the norm and they're going against the vaccine mandates and you know the and following what the government says and you know because it's more right. about fighting for the underdog what about, about being anti-establishment i mean i think we used to think of young people as anti-establishment now if you're anti-establishment right that means you have to oppose you should be opposing uh mandates and lockdowns and things like that those are the things most ardently supported by you know establishment type figures um right but the younger generation is much less anti-establishment right than, it is it's it, it is less it's more pro-establishment pro-administration pro like the it, it thinks that the admin college administration is not doing enough administering, like needs to be right. needs to be doing more rather than protested against. But you know, there, there's there's always uh, confusion among older people about what young people believe. Like there's there's still this <laughs> myth today that the '60s were filled with you know uh, a, a radical left wing generation when in fact Nixon did completely well among young people. Mm -hmm. Young people supported Reagan. It was it was more that the louder, more colorful young mm -hmm. people, you know, the San Francisco, the, the Woodstock young people were the ones that were on the more more on the cover of Time magazine than the than the Nixon mm -hmm. conservative was. But there were just as many, if not more of them uh, that were supporting that. Now, what's different today is that to the, the younger generation today is much more left wing. 
than than it was in the mm -hmm. in the 60s across the board. But the ones who are seriously actively engaged in it, like you said, that that is a a much smaller minority than we would think. Yeah. But I'm an old person, so what do I know? <laughs> We're all old people. Yeah. We're all old people, as we bring up frequently on the show. Um, and also, you know, people don't. They keep some of their politics as they get older, I think. I mean, it's, it's different for everyone. We're making very crude generalizations. But, you know, a lot of people are support more more uh, taxes or think that you know, government should do more to redistribute wealth until they start paying taxes themselves, until they, they have their own small business, until they get a little older. And then they're like, what is coming out of well, my paycheck? What is this going for? America solved that problem by making it impossible for younger generations to actually accrue any wealth. Yes. So. Right. So that they can, so that, no, that, that's a problem. Because and they'll continue to be in favor of those policies I don't support, higher taxes and more redistribution, because they're, they have their crippling student loan debt. Yep. Yeah. yeah. True that. All right. Anyway, we will have more rising right after this.